what is the contribution of this study to Canada? Canada is one of the top wheat producing countries in the world and world's biggest supplier of high quality milling wheat. Wheat contributes billions of dollars per year to Canada's economy. However, insects are a big problem during storage of wheat, resulting in more losses, damage in its quality. Common methods in controlling insects are using chemicals such as fumigants and pesticides. We know that using chemicals are not good to our health and the environment and it takes a lot of time. Thus, my study deals on another method, killing the insects in stored wheat using 50 ohm radio frequency technology. What are the advantages of this method? First is chemical free. No chemical residue, and it's environmentally friendly. Second is fast heating. It can kill the insects in just seconds. Third is bulk heating. We can kill the insects in a large volume of wheat. Lastly, it is multiple insect control. How does it work? The radio frequency generator generates alternating charges to the electrodes in 27 million times per second. Negative and positive charges. Our insect material are in the middle of these two electrodes, has these ions and dipole molecules, positive and negative charges. So we know that opposite charges attract, right? So the charges of ions and dipole molecules of our insect material attract to the opposite charges of the electrode. There is now movement, a unique polarization and dipole rotation. Imagine this movement is in 20 million million times per second. I just rub my hands. Six times per second. My hands heat. The same principle here, the same principle here, the insects will be killed because of the frictions that creates heat. Going back to my first question, what is the contribution of this study to Canada? Is stored wheat? It's insect-free and chemical-free with 50-ohm radio frequency technology. Thank you.